This is part one of building my dream boat in my backyard, with no boat building experience. The flat pack got delivered when I wasn't here by crane truck. First step was to cut all the tabs and remove the pieces from the sheets of aluminium. All the extrusions come in a pallet that you need to cut the size. Second step is to remove all the little tabs left over from the cutting and clean up the edges for fabrication. There is about 300 parts to this boat and each one needs to be cleaned up and prepped I'm cleaning as I go because I don't have enough space to clean everything in one hit. The boat I'm building is a CNC Marine 6500 and 20 HTO, which is the deep V version of the popular 6500 HTO. The overall length is just over 7M with a 2.5 meter beam. I've also got a trailer supplied by CNC Marine that I will have to fabricate once the boat is complete. Fabricating the bottom plate and the frames adding the stringers in assembling the transom putting on the side sheets, putting on the gunnels and some other structure before the first stage of welding. The next part of this build after welding We'll be fitting out the underfloor structure, including the deck stringers, the buoyancy foam, and then installing the floor and above deck structures. So far in this video is about six days worth of work from the time I opened the package to the time that I got the side sheets and got the gunnels on. I've been lucky to have a well-known boat builder who lives locally give me some great advice so far along with the help of CNC Marine. I'm sure anyone with some boat building experience would have this amount of work done a lot quicker, but half the time I've spent on this build is just working out the best way to install sheets. I've cut several lots of tacks to adjust sheet alignment. I've also spent a lot of time setting up tooling playing around with the welder and getting everything right before I get too far into the build. I am a welder by trade, but aluminium MIG is something very new to me, although it seems very easy to learn. I luckily picked up a second-hand Kempi Pulse MIG for a reasonable price, and I've got three phases in my shed, although I think a build like this could be done with a single-phase machine.
Something else that has come in handy is lots and lots of clamps. If you're going to attempt to build like this on your own, you'll need some good long clamps with reasonable clamping force. Something that won't scratch up the aluminium. The local boat builder gave me some advice to use a laminate trimmer with a small radius tool to prep all the edges of the plates that you come in. Contact with to remove the edge and put a nice finish on. I'm glad that I've been doing this so far on all the exposed edges because it's something that you could never do once the pieces are assembled. The little gantry crane you can see in the video is something whipped together for this build. And so far it's been amazing to be able to have the welder up above the work and also to lift sheets that I can't move on my own. The original purpose of the crane was to flip the boat when it comes to welding the underside. I know people have done it off their shed roof trusses, but mine are just rolled section. The boat construction is a 6mm aluminium bottom, 4mm sides, and 4mm structure. The plate is 5000, an 83 grade aluminium, which I believe has a higher tensile strength than other grades. The boat will eventually have 300L of fuel storage, a kill tank, a live bait tank, and deck wash that I will have to complete the plumbing for before the floor goes on. CNC Marine are very flexible with design changes, and the small changes I did to the transom and seating were very cheap, although you could spend a lot of money if you wanted to. Please let me know what you want to see more of during this build, and subscribe for more videos.